In the process of transforming the Apple Way Trail, it's a project we've reported on for more than a decade. Now we're learning there could be plans to bring even more changes to the area once construction is complete. Krem 2's Brandon Jones explains what those changes may be and how it could impact the city. Well, the sign says it was established in 2015, but this former railroad has been in the works for much longer than that. And soon there could be businesses all up and down this five mile trail making a complete transformation. Spokane Valley was awarded a grant of $25,000 for a study of economic development on the Apple Way Trail project that runs through the city. What we can do to attract businesses to this area, kind of like how the Kendall Yards area has seemed to do for the Centennial Trail. The project began in 2008 and construction to finish the final portion is expected to be completed by the summer of 2020. This sets the city up for what could be tremendous growth and adding restaurants and other businesses along the trail would take the project to new heights. And we're really excited for not just the residents of this city, but to uh, tourists and other people around the Spokane area to use this five mile path that connects all the way to Liberty Lake. So far, the trail has a flurry of different benches and drinking fountains scattered along the path for people to rest while making their way down the trail. A few restroom areas are available to use as well. The most recent funds come from the Washington State Community Economic Revitalization Board. And Spokane County was one of eight counties in Washington State to receive the award. The abandoned railroad has also had flashing pedestrian lights installed for busy areas that need to be crossed. In the Valley, Brandon Jones, Crim 2 News.